Hi Taurus, Sun, Moon, Ascendant, or Venus. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your Angel and Spirit Guide money and career reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe to my channel. Now if you've noticed, this reading isn't dated because I am of the firm belief that whenever you come across it is the exact moment that Spirit wants you to hear this message. Okay, so let's dive in and see here what your spirit animal cards have to say. These will also be your totem animals for this time. So if you come across like a stuffed animal or this online or in nature, you know, this is spirit, your angels, reminding you of the message that this card holds. So angel and spirit guide message for Taurus, money and career. Angel and spirit guide message for Taurus, money and career. Angel and spirit guide message for Taurus, money and career. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Fantastic. So you have here the hawk spirit, which says, let spirit be your guide. And then we have the butterfly. You know what's so funny is that I was thinking of, I was thinking that you were going to get the butterfly while I was shuffling. And I was like, oh, wouldn't that be funny? It just in my head. Oh, wow. That's really, really, really pretty. And says transformation is beautiful. So financial transformation, I mean, who wouldn't like that? And, you know, work transformation, being crowned. Don't be afraid to listen to spirit during this time, Taurus. Really don't. Now your chakra cards. Angel and spirit guide message for Taurus, money and career. Angel and spirit guide message for Taurus, money and career. Angel and spirit guide message for Taurus. Money and career. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Show me these two. Oh, that's lovely. So you have here meditation and you have listening. All right. So I know when I say meditation, people are like, oh, even when I make myself meditate, sometimes I fall asleep. Like, you know, it's like, oh, do I have to? but a calming and a centering of yourself. You do not have to be still. There is meditation when you are moving, but just kind of not having music in your ears, you know, just letting yourself be in the moment. If you can, if you can, if you can do that, if you can not have music in your ears, that, or, you know, I love to listen to a book on tape, you know, if you can do that, that would be amazing. That would be absolutely amazing. And just connecting with yourself and really listening to your body, just listening to your heartbeat, listening to your inhales and your exhales. That would be something that would be highly beneficial for you. And now let's see what your tarot has to say. Angel and spirit guide message for Taurus, money and career. Angel and spirit guide message for Taurus, money and career. Angel and spirit guide message for Taurus, money and career. Show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly, show me clearly. Fantastic. At the center of everything, we have the chariot. So that is a strong cancer energy, a time period of June 21st to July 22nd. And then you are crowned by the six of swords. You might actually see a very big change. It can be a little bit around water, you know, or around emotional truth during this time, like during the cancer time, which again, June 21st to July 22nd. Then you have the two of pentacles. You're juggling a lot, Taurus. The seven of cups. Don't get caught up in what might be. The world. Oh, wow. All right. The lady, which is the empress in the right of Waite Smith deck. That's beautiful. And the Four of Cups. I like that. The Six of Pentacles. I like that you have a repeat of the number six. That is really talking about being a very caring, very giving, very nurturing person, which we see with the Six of Pentacles most definitely. But do not give to others so much during this time that you drain your cup dry because that can be a real concern. Then you have the Two of Wands. And the Three of Cups. So again, we have the Hulk Spirit right here, which says, let Spirit be your guide. Let Spirit move you forward. Do not be afraid to be like, okay, you know, the Spirit in meditation, 
are going to go really hand in hand. You'll need those quiet moments in order to connect with spirit. And spirit is really saying here during this time, I want you, I need you to connect with me. And your angels are saying it too. I need you to connect with me for myself to be able to move you forward. And that's what they're saying to you. They want you to, to be a part of them and they want to be a very proactive part of you during this time. This is, you know, this can help by healing and cleansing your crown chakra, any negative thoughts that you have, you know, kind of just ping-ponging around there, any doubts, any fears that you keep on coming back to and saying, oh no, well, I can't move forward because of this, because of that. You're going to see that you really can. You really, really can. Meditation, focusing on your breathing, focusing on your body, focusing on yourself, also what you put into your body during this time is going to have a really big impact on you. And this then leads to the butterfly spirit, which says transformation is beautiful. The transformation you are going through is beautiful and that you are embracing during this time and what you will see be a very transformative time in your life with your career, with your prosperity, with the way that you're moving forward. Okay. And you're going to have a tendency with your prosperity to want to give a lot out. You have to make sure it's coming in. You do, do you, you do Taurus because you're juggling a lot and you're First thing is going to be, oh, I can help out. I can do this. I can do that. But make sure you have, you know, you know money in the bank. Make sure you have, yeah, make sure you're not draining yourself dry. Okay. That is definitely here. And you need to transform. You need, you need to have this change come in because if a butterfly doesn't transform, not a butterfly, but if a caterpillar doesn't transform, it doesn't thrive. It doesn't move on. It doesn't become its next stage. So that's what you want. You don't want to be stuck. So here, letting yourself move forward, embracing this crowning beauty that is all about you, you know, that is you, really does guide you forward, really does bring you to the next level. And listen. Listen to what your body needs. Listen to what your heart is saying. Listen to what it is that you want and you desire because that's going to open doors. Okay, it's going to be very easy and it's always very easy to talk, all right? But really listen to what you want, to what is desired and what people are saying. So during this time, you might find that, yeah, arguments can be had. And it's not going to be that you guys are having different points of view at all. It's going to be that you think, I'm saying this really clearly. And the other person is going to be saying pretty much the same thing. But your word, your, your vocabulary is going to be very different. So here, just be mindful of that during this time. And just with that mindfulness moving you forward, that can really curtail any arguments, disagreements, upsets, angers that come in. Or bring quick resolution. My heart tarot. I thought that was so pretty. I got that in Salem, Massachusetts. I don't know if I told you guys. I just am so thrilled with it. Okay. So now we have the chariot. The chariot, again, water sign energy, cancer. Now, water sign energy talks about the West. So it's where the sun sets, right? So nighttime, sunsets, very important, very inspirational times for you during this time. And here, it's there's a sensitivity, there's a heartfeltness to your work, to everything that you do during this time. There's a balance of day and night. This is also saying you will need that work life, that work home life balance. And you might kind of lose sight of it at times. You're going to be well, Taurus, you have this tendency. Anyway, you, you like what you do. And when you like what you do or when you have a challenge, that becomes what you focus on. And you're like, okay, I have to get this done before I can do anything else. So that work-home life balance is going to be very important. There is a sense of embracing a change in seasons during this time. Like things start to change. If you look at the wheel here, you have the changing in seasons, but you also have the, you know, earth, fire, air, water represented. So you're going to see that there is a change. There is a beauty that guides you, but there's also a ferocity. There is a determination. There is a, I know, I know the way I need to move forward. I know what it is that I want. And even if you're unsure, even if you're sitting there and saying, all right, Dane, that's nice that you think I know, but I don't know. You know, I'm overwhelmed. I'm confused. And that's where the connecting with spirit to guide you and that calming down through meditation, and it can just be going for a walk, is going to be so beneficial to you. Because here with the chariot, you have that speed to you, you have that intensity to you, and you're really going to want to utilize it during this time. Because you're a fantastic mediator. You're going to bridge the gaps with the man holding the two wands, 
but there's also the sense here of embracing power, embracing purpose. I just really see this as a passionate, determined time for you. It's like you know what it is that you want and you will work your tuchus off in order to get there, but you are also dedicated to, to yourself. You are dedicated to what you need. And there is a, a sense here of going at breakneck speeds when it comes to your work. And I don't want anybody to say, you know, oh, I'm a stay-at-home parent and I'm just watching these because I like them or, you know, for my partner and they're not really meant for me. You have a full-time job. You have a full-time job that you don't get paid for, okay? So don't even, don't even go there. There is a power to you. And that, is, and that might be a message for just one person, but know your worth. Know your worth because it's astounding, right? And that's good for everybody because sometimes we get caught up in jobs. I mean, I know I've been there. Caught up in jobs where you sit there and you're like, I don't even know how I got here. You know, I don't know what I'm doing. And not like in a way of you're out of your depth, depth, but this is something you never envisioned yourself doing or you never even, even wanted to do, you know? And so you're looking at it and there might be a resentment there because, yeah, Spirit is giving me that imagery right here. And you're going to be able through kind of a sheer force of will with this chariot energy and this determination of your heart and the sensitivity of your soul, you're going to be moving forward. But also know that spirit's going to be moving you. So if you're in really kind of uncomfortable situations or, you know, things just get piled onto your shoulders and you're like, oh my gosh, spirit is going to be moving you forward. So that might be spirit's sign to you to say, okay, let's try a different approach. Let's look at things differently. I'm never going to tell anybody to, you know, leave your job, though the chariot energy here mixed with the, with the six of swords. I mean, there can be a business trip coming. There can be a changing of jobs, a changing of, you know, energy during this time. I mean, there is a tremendous change that is leading you forward and it will be for a lot of you, it will be around the cancer time, June 21st to July 22nd, things moving. It doesn't have to be really big. It's just going to be impactful for you, all right? So it can be an idea that comes into your head, and now you're looking at everything differently, and you're moving forward in your passion. The Two of Wands is also your Twin Flame card, so it's finding what you love. It's moving forward towards what you truly desire. It can be finding love, you know, with a cancer energy or with somebody who is very in tune to their emotions and who understands your sensitivity and your sensuality, Taurus, which is going to be, which is very, very nice to see. This then leads you to the Six of Swords. The Six of Swords is gathering up all your knowledge and moving forward. It's like, I know, I know. And as you know that you know, right? But you... So what Spirit is saying is that some of you know that you know, and others of you know a heck of a lot, but I mean, it's almost like you would rather gnaw off your own foot than give yourself a compliment. I'm being, I'm exaggerating here, most definitely, but there is a sense that as you move forward, you need to see your worth because you have this ability to give prosperity to people and you have this ability for prosperity, for bounty, for beauty. And you give it. I mean, Taurus, you give it during this time. But this is also saying here, do not give everything away. This is also saying boundaries. Boundaries are going to be needed up and down the Mississippi. It really is. Because there is a sense here of once you give a little bit, people are going to want a little bit more. And people are going to want a little bit more. And at first, they're going to be grateful. They're going to be like, wow, Taurus, you're just so nice. Thank you so much. And then they're going to be like, what, you're not doing that today? You're not going to help me out? Really? You're that selfish? And it's going to make you feel bad. It really is because you have this, this beautiful heart, okay? And when it isn't appreciated or when you're made to feel like you are doing something wrong, it's going to deflate you. It's going to overwhelm you. So here, with the Six of Swords, you are moving forward. You are taking your knowledge, you're taking your truth, and you are moving forward. Now, this could be over water. This could be, you know, planning a holiday by the water. That would be highly beneficial. Oh my gosh, I love the ocean. And this is a power for you. So here, know that people will have their hands out, all right? When it comes to money, you are secure, all right? And I know people don't want to hear that. You know, we, we want to hear, I'm winning the lottery. You, you have fantastic prosperity coming. I mean, you really, really do. And you have, you have fantastic prosperity, there we go, all around you. But at times, when you look at, at money, all right, you're going to feel like, I'm secure, I'm safe. You're not really going to see things as, as bountiful as they are right away. 
because there is this sense of being pregnant with ideas, with concepts, with desires, with the way that you want to move forward, all right? And that is going to take time and effort and diligence on your part, most definitely. But the reward, it's going to be like putting something in, it's like going to be getting interest on something where all of a sudden it starts adding up in a way that you hadn't expected here. Yeah, that's what Spirit is saying. So just be mindful. Just be mindful of people who are going to really try and take advantage of you as you're moving forward or hitch your wagon to theirs and say, oh my gosh, look how much I did. You know, I totally helped with this. And you're going to look at them and be like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I couldn't find you to do anything at all. You know, you were always getting a coffee or you were always, you know, talking to somebody and you couldn't help. And I did all the work. So just be, just be mindful. Also don't come across as petty, but, but stand your ground, right? Most definitely because the world is opening up to you. I mean, you have here the cup, the sword, the pentacle, the wand. The world is opening up to you. There is a powerful truth to you. There is a beauty. There is a determination. You are going to see that doors that were once closed open. They open. And it's going to be really funny because the way I see the three of cups. Now, people read the three of cups as friends are going to help you forward. There's going to be a celebration. That's great. The way I read the three of cups is the opposite. And the reason why I do this is because whenever I read the three of cups, the way that it's said to you, it's always the opposite and it's, and it's not fair. And I'm not going to do that to you guys. So with the three of cups, this for me is somebody who is sneaky, who is celebrating you, who's like, Oh my God, dude, you are my best friend. I totally want you to succeed. You know, you, you're amazing. You know, everything like that. It doesn't have to be your best friend, but you know what I'm saying? Somebody who really talks you up, who really seems like they're on your side. They're not. They're on their side, right? They want what's best for them. And that's it. End of discussion. That's where they are powerful. That's what they need. And that's what they do in life. And so here, as doors open, you are very well closing this door. Now, this door I see more as in the past, somebody who has hurt you, somebody who was overwhelming, somebody who was negative or, you know, deceitful or you know, just a myriad of things that really hurt you during, during your life. And now you're closing your door on them. And you're saying, you know what? No, no, I'm not moving forward in that nonsense anymore. I'm moving forward in my power, in my truth. And this person helped you. They really did. I know it's not going to seem like they helped you, but they helped you because they let you know that you can stand firmly on your own two feet and you don't need somebody to help you prop you up. There is help there are people around you most definitely but the true power of your success is you and that is a brilliant thing to know that is an absolute brilliant thing to know because it's your tenacity it's your stick to it stick to it it is your determination and that's what's opening these doors that's what's having the elements align that's what's having here you know the the cups the the sword the pentacles the the wand come into alignment with you all the elements come into alignment with you and to move forward in victory, to move forward in power. And if you see here, I really view this as kind of like ivy around her. And what's beautiful is that in the ancient Celtic world, they viewed ivy to be stronger than an oak because ivy, when it wrapped itself around the tree, what it does is it sucks the nutrients out of that tree. It uses the tree for its roots. So it slowly and steadily strangles the tree and the tree will fall. So in the ancient world, in the ancient Celtic world, they believed that ivy was super powerful because it could take down an oak. And so there's a power to you that can take down what seems mighty, what seems, you know, unmovable. And this leads you to the lady. Now, I love the bounty that is around the lady here. I love, you know, just the beauty of her pregnant belly, the bounty that she is holding, the water that her toe is dipping into, there is such a sense of splendor and wealth and prosperity to her. And that wealth and that prosperity and that splendor is very much a part of you during this time. And here, as you're moving forward, there is a sense of you having fantastic ideas, fantastic inspirations. You know, there is a sense of seeing things more clearly. There is a reclaiming of a throne or of seeing things in a beautiful light where you had once thought they were ugly. You know, you might have thought, yeah, you might not have seen the beauty in the moment. Yeah. 
And now you're sitting there and you're realizing that it's a profound and beautiful gift. It's kind of like, you know, when you're pregnant and you're throwing up all the time and everything like that. And it's like, what's beautiful? Like, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm sick as a dog. And then you sit there and you're like, wow, it is beautiful. And that's the kind of inspiration that is around you during this time. I mean, I remember I had a friend and she's like, I hate being pregnant. She's like, I hate it. It is the worst because she was sick all the time. My mom would say that too. She was sick for nine months. And she's like, but the delivery, she's like, then you have the end goal. And that's, she's like, that's what I'm good at. And so here, that's what I'm seeing with you. It's like, you have that end goal and that's what you're good at. You're good at having that bounty, that beauty, that prosperity be around you. And as you embrace this, we have the seven of cups and the seven of cups is saying, don't fall prey to thinking of illusions, like thinking of oh, what I would like to have. Look at what you have right here. Because that's the thing with the Seven of Cups. It warns against daydreams. And with warning against daydreams, what's really powerful about this is when we think of daydreams and we think of visualization, I used to get confused all the time. I was like, oh, it's the same thing. It's not. It's not. Because the daydream is just having that dream and not doing anything about it. The visualization is when it becomes real. Okay? When your mind sits there and it's like, oh, but that's real. Like, cause I could see it. I could smell it. I knew what I would feel like, you know, when I accomplished this goal, as I, you know, gave birth to this idea, as I entered into this new phase of my life, this new powerhouse of my life, you know, that's what visualization is. Visualization is powerful and profound. Imagination also powerful and profound, but to act on it, that is the act of visualization. So here with the three, not the three, with the seven of cups, here he's looking at things and he's like, oh, now these cups might be at the bottom of the lake, you know, he might be seeing the reflection of them, but he's thinking of all the blessings he can have. That's really how I see it. He's thinking of all the blessings that he could have, all the prosperity, all the power, and he's not looking at the cup that he has. It's kind of like, yeah, I have that. You know, what, what's useful about that? Like the gifts that we have, we think, oh, everybody can do that. They can't. So embrace your gifts, embrace your power, embrace your truth. You'll start to see pathways open up. And as those pathways open up, the people that did you wrong, okay, and they did you wrong, they're not going to have that power over you that they once did. And it's going to be a fire in your belly. It's going to be like, well, I'll show you. And it's not in a negative way. It's not in an angry way. It's not in a rude way. It's in a powerful way. It's all like, I'll show you. I'll show you that you thought I couldn't be anything. I'll show you that... You, you wanted to make me fall and kind of like eat dirt and everything like that. And that's not how my life is going to be. And that's not how your success is during this time. So you will run up against as the doors open wide for you as you step into a power, into a beauty that, I mean, you've been working towards, but you kind of doubt it. You're like, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I, I hope to God that door opens up and I don't like, you know, just smash into a wall kind of thing here. And as you see this, you have the Four of Cups. And what I love about this is that usually with the Four of Cups, you know, it's not, yeah, it's, it's that the eyes are closed, okay? And here, her eyes aren't closed. They're open. She's looking past her gifts that she has. And one of them, she's not even really seeing as a gift. It's kind of like, yeah, okay, you know, this is Tuesday. I get it. You know, that's fine. And this is my life. But here, the earth is holding something beautiful for her. Pregnant with possibilities. The earth mother energy surrounding you. The bounty, the beauty, the abundance being a part of you. And that is what's being hidden. So as you embrace this empress energy, this lady energy, as you see yourself as part of the earth, as you see yourself as more powerful and more bountiful than you could ever have imagined, you are going to start to see this gift that that is born from you, but was also made for you. You know, it was part of you before you ever existed. And it, it got to know you before it came into your hands. And it moves you to the two of pentacles, the two of pentacles, prosperity and success. Okay. Balancing it. It's like, Oh my gosh, can you, you know, because we always want more. It's like, there's a fear and, and then it's like, okay, I want more. I want more. How am I going to get more? How am I going to build more? How am I going to move faster? You know, everything like that. You're balancing a lot. And here, what I love about this picture is you have the storm out there, right? Things seem to be a little bit tough. And she's like, eh, I'm throwing these coins up into the air. Like, we'll see. 
<laughs> we'll see how it goes. Heads or tails. You know, who wins kind of mentality. And I love that because there can be a sense of you have been through so much emotionally that you're thinking the prosperity, when the heck is it going to come? You know, and again, I'm not talking about, you know, multi-million dollars. I'm not talking about being a celebrity, right? Because most people, we're not put on this earth to be celebrities. We're put on this earth to live our purpose. And our purpose, sometimes it isn't glamorous. It doesn't have people shouting our names or trying to track down where we live. Our purpose may be to be the best parent we can be. It may be to be, you know, an inspiration to one person. It may be to do this job and to do it to the highest of your ability. You know, it might be that on the side you sing, you paint, you you work with numbers, you figure out th things. And that's where your talent, your gift lies. And you come to a point where you're letting it shine. And as you let it shine, you let yourself shine. And instead of thinking, well, oh well, we'll see what happens. You know, it's been so hard already. There's a balancing, there's a juggling act. There's a figuring it out. There's going to be a time of transition. And as you figure it out, and as you transition into your power, at first you're going to find that it's easier to give than to receive. It is. It's going to be easier to say, wow, look at this. And you're going to want to be so generous. I mean, it's beautiful how generous you are going to want to be. Don't be so generous that you kind of shoot yourself in, in the foot. Think of yourself, those you love, your family, you know, the roof over your head, what you need first, and then you give. And then you give because it's powerful. And as you do so, you are going to start to see, you start to give. Okay? Again, remember, do not give so much that your cup is drained dry. Boundaries are going to be super important to you. And figuring out how to balance. Because there's going to be a part of you that just wants to charge forward. It's like, it's going to feel like a bull in a china shop kind of thing. It's like, charge forward, you know, everything will work itself out. But as you figure out this balance, okay, you figure out the prosperity that you have, the bounty that you have, and it moves you forward. Now, during this time, okay, be mindful I mean, this cancer energy is really, really good for you. It really is. But be mindful of people taking advantage of you. Be mindful of people sitting there and trying to add more to your plate to make you stumble so that you're not as prosperous as you want to be, okay? Things from the past, somebody might say something, and as you start to see the doors open, this statement right here might shut them right in your face, might make you think, oh my gosh. They're right. I can't do this. I can't possibly. What the heck was I thinking of? And you start to see not what's in front of you, but everything else. You know, the daydreaming, but not in a good way. It's kind of like the nightmare dreaming, you know. Well, yeah. And it's kind of like, oh my gosh. Am I going to fail? Am I going to, you know, have everything fall apart? How will I move forward? And so here, just be mindful. Just be mindful of that because there is a bounty and there is a gift and it comes from the heart. So really seriously here, water energy for you is going to be very important during this time. The West, okay? Sunsets, very important for you during this time. Sensitivity, heartfeltness, really putting your all into things, but also knowing that during this time you're going to be a bit more sensitive, most definitely, but you're also going to have this creative energy around you that you may be very inspired during sunsets. So just to let you know this, just be mindful of it. Listen to yourself. Meditate. You're transforming. You're transforming and spirit is leading you forward. Your subconscious message for this whole entire time period is the Queen of Swords. This is an air sign energy, a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius. I mean, this is cutting through the doubts and the fears, this is cutting through all the bull, and this is saying, this is what I want, this is where I stand, this is who I am. Now, this could be also being a little bit sharp-tongued. Air sign energies have to worry about that. Air sign also represents the east, so sunrises, sunsets, those are your times. This is intelligence, this is clear thinking, this is, I'm nobody's fool, I've worked hard for this, and I'm really not going to be putting up with anybody's nonsense. So that is an astoundingly powerful truth for you. It's like here, she looks a little bit haughty, but it can't just be that she's like, no, not budging, not budging, earn this throne, 
earned what I know. And your knowledge is going to be more behind the scenes knowledge. You're not going to want everybody to know because I really do see the queens as the directors behind the scenes, the kings, actors upon the stage. You are going to be directing things. You learn so much. You know so much. And it is going to be powerful for you. Your subconscious chakra message is nurturing. Now, this is the Earth Star Chakra. This is located six inches below your feet. This is a rebirth. This is a rejuvenation of self. This is a nurturing of your desires. And as you nurture, as you grow, as you nurture your inner child, okay, you are going to find yourself set free. And you're going to need to remember to take time for you. And then your subconscious spirit animal message is the moth spirit, which says, surrender now. Surrender to your angels, to your spirits, to your knowledge now. And it is going to open up doors. Do not let the ego get in the way, which is so easy to say and so hard to do. All right. It's not about being right at this time. It's about conquering the world and having endless possibilities before you. That's what it's all about. Right? And even if it doesn't feel like you've conquered the world, okay, as you are moving things forward, as you are looking at things, as you are seeing what you desire, you're going to be aligning it all. And then this beauty comes, this power comes, and you're going to be like, wow, I did that. You did that with spirit, with your angels guiding you, and it will be breathtaking. All right, Taurus, I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I love you all. Bye.